Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post and in today's video we are going to be talking about what rods and reels I use on a daily basis. What is my go-to setup? What do I normally use? We have the three rods and reels that I would prefer and with that being said let's jump into today's video. So starting off, I'm making this video because of this person right here. Thanks for commenting. I'll do whatever you guys ask. Comment down below. Whatever you want to see me do, I will do just for you guys. So thank you for commenting. Uh, you wanted to see what rods and reels I use. I'm making in a full video for you, just for you. So if you guys are interested, all this stuff will be linked in the description below. The reels, the reels, the rods, the line, everything. So... Let's jump into it. So you see we have a lot of white rods on the deck. You're probably wondering what are these rods, what brand, what model, what action do they have? These are the Bu Garcia Veritas rods. We love these rods. They never break. We cannot get these rods to break because we've had some other brands of rods that... Oh, there's a fish jumped right there. We've had some other brands of rods where we would just go to cast and it would snap in half and uh, we didn't like that. So the Bu Garcia Veritas's, we have had some of these rods for 10 years years 10 years and i think we actually have some of them in the box right here that are actually 10 years old it is really really insane really crazy to see that we have some 10 year old rods that we're still using to this day to catch fish with and we just love these rods i mean they're not the best they're not super super light but they just don't break if you're spending money on a rod that you do not want to break like i've had a Ducket Micro Magic. No hate against Ducket or anything like that, but I had a Micro Magic, which Micro Magic are they're expensive. Here's the price of them right here. So I spent, I spent my money on, uh, on that rod, and it was actually in a video. I was fishing. I went to make a cast, and it snapped in half. And I was like, I'm never buying another one of these again because I'm not going to spend all this money for. It lasted for a few years, but for it to break in a few years, I don't want that. We've had these. I think this rod is actually a year old. We got this at the Classic last year got a really good deal on them uh because if y'all have been to the classic you know that there's good deals on everything so we picked up about 10 of these rods and that just goes that shows you that we love these rods and uh this is not sponsored i feel like i'm like like telling you to buy this brand i'm not telling you to buy this brand whatever brand you want to get go for it uh lose is good I'm trying to think of some lose and abu garcia are our two go-to companies we would go for rods and reels so on this rod, we have the Revo SX, and these are like great all-around reels. They're not the top of the line. They're not the bottom of the line. They're right in the middle, and they've lasted forever. I think the longest, uh, the lasting reel we've had, uh, Revo SX, would probably, I'd probably say five to six years is the longest we've had some of these reels. And as you can see on this reel right here, let me get up in the camera and show you all. As you can see, look at how worn that is. Look at that. That is just a worn, crusty reel that is still going. It is still going to this day. I actually caught a bunch of fish on it just now. And it's an epic little setup. We got Seaguar, Red Label, 15 pound. All, all this stuff will be linked in the description if you want to go pick it up. The Red Label, Seaguar, is amazing line. Amazing line. Never had any problems with it. Uh, we've actually just picked up a few spools on Amazon not too long ago. And uh, great, great line. And that is what is on this. I think we have a 12 pound, it's not 15. We have 12. And it is it is great line. So that is the setup for this little guy right here. As you can see, we got a little swim bait on there, a little juicy, juicy little swim bait. And for the weights, we just go with tungsten, tungsten 316, quarter, I mean, whatever you want to do. That's We normally do tungsten weights. So there we go. Strike King tungsten weights is what we normally go with. So that is the first setup right there. Awesome setup. Um, it, the rod, let me actually go over the rod with you. The rod is a seven foot, medium heavy, and uh, the line rating is 12 to 20 pounds line and the reason it's a seven foot i don't prefer a seven foot rod but at the classic all they had left was seven footers like everyone was buying these rods like crazy because they're just amazing rods they don't break they're great quality great company and we garcia love those rods so we probably have about 20 of those in the box right now so there's a lot we have a lot of these rods because first off they're not that expensive they last forever 
you can catch fish with them. They're great rods. So second setup we have here is again all Abu Garcia. Uh, we've we do have some loose stuff in there. Uh, their loose stuff is good. We have some of their reels, some of their rods. Not a huge fan of their rods. Their reels are pretty decent, but we've been with Abu Garcia just using their stuff for the longest time. And this setup is probably one of my favorite setups. This is my worm setup. Same rod as before, seven foot medium heavy line, 12 to 20 pound line uh, setup for this rod. And we have, I have 15 pound Seaguar red label on this setup right here and this reel. My all time favorite reel, it is so beefy. Here, let me give you a close up shot of it. So look at this reel, such a juicy looking setup. A lot of people get this confused with Mike Iaconelli's reel from Abu Garcia, but this is the Abu Garcia EXD. This thing casts forever. Like it is, I was talking to actually, I was actually talking about Blake Smith, uh, talking to Blake Smith about this reel and he has several of these in his arsenal. And he was like, there's a problem with these reels. There's legit a serious issue that they need to fix. And the issue is it casts too far. That is the problem. That is the freaking problem. It casts way too far. Blake was like, oh my gosh, it just, you cast and it, all the way to the end. You can cast to the knot every single time. And the bad thing is like, you got to tie an actual fishing knot. Like I, that's what I do on this setup. I have an actual fishing knot on this reel because when you cast, you go all the way to the knot every time. Just And here's the thing. If you don't tie an actual fishing knot, your line just goes right right out and that's that's not good not good at all but this is just such an awesome amazing reel it is an eight zero to one love it love it you can like get those fish in super quick that's why i love it with my worm setup because here's the thing when you're dragging a worm you're not reeling so it's awesome so you're dragging it at a nice slow slow pace and then when you need to reel up that slack you can do it in like three cranks just whoop, 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 boom drag again whoop drag again because it gives a less time because if you had like let's say a seven to one or six to one or something like that if you were doing it like that you would have to reel longer and a fish could have already hit the bait and start running off with it and by the time you get there you're like oh shoot this fish is already he's already eaten my bait and he's about ready to spit it because he's like this is not real <laughs> this is fake so this is my favorite setup all-time favorite setup right here. The Abu Garcia Veritas with the Abu Garcia EXD. All this will be linked down below. Uh, we got a four-out hook, four-out hook, 316 ounce weight, perfect for the offshore worm bite. So that is uh, that is that setup right here. And now, last but not least, I had to throw in my little jerkbait setup. I do like this setup, the reel. I've been having some issues with this reel. This is the Luz Hyper Mag, not, not saying anything bad about Luz, but this reel has been slipping. It's the weirdest thing ever. I would literally be jerking it and um, the spool will just release and just as I go to pop it, it just lets all the line out. No idea why. I'm pretty sure I gotta tighten something in the reel. I don't think it's broken or anything. I just need to, something needs to be fixed. Comment down below if you know what uh, the problem is with that where I'm like, like popping it, jerking the jerk bait and then it just releases the spool for no reason and just let me know down in the comments. Please help me out. And this is a 12 pound line. We got a little jerk bait. This is the Ducket Ghost XL. This is a 7.3 medium heavy. Now, you know, a lot of people say that if you get a heavy action Ducket, it's gonna feel like a medium heavy. If you get a medium heavy, then it's gonna feel like a medium. I'm not sure what the next size down below from that is, but uh, this is just a great jerk bait rod. Uh, you definitely have to get used to it because it is so light. Uh, we've had we have a few ducket ghosts uh, just because we wanted to try them out. I got the ducket micro magic at the same time, so this rod is probably about four years old. Great rod, haven't had any problems with the ghosts yet. Uh, yeah, so I mean that's just got to keep on fishing with them and see what happens because I know the Veritas is you can you can run them over and they'll be great. There's still be it's just like I don't care. Like I'll throw all the Veritas's in my car. They'll be like bent. They'll be like completely bent over in my car. And I was like, oh, your rods are they? I'm like it's it's a Veritas. Like literally, you can't break these rods. We've actually broken probably like ten rods, but not on purpose. All from this rod deck right here. The pistons aren't strong enough. So uh, because this is padded carpet on the front deck, so we've probably broken ten rods just on this rod locker. So we've broken more rods than. We've ever broken uh, 
fishing. So that is the little setup deal right there. Everything will be linked in the description below if you want to go check them out. Uh, I will get a percentage of if you buy some of this stuff because it is affiliate links. So if you want to help out me, support the channel, uh, definitely go pick up some rods, some reels, some line, what, do whatever. I mean, go check them out. Links in the description. It would help me out, help the channel out. Uh, some gas money would be nice <laughs> because this stuff is expensive, guys. Coming out here and running all over the lake trying to find fish for you all uh, definitely help me out. I appreciate that. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for leaving comments and uh, just letting me know what you want to see in future videos. I hope to do more videos like this where I just sit down and talk to you all. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys and like always. If you'd like to subscribe, click right down there. If you want to watch some more videos, click right over here and I'll see you all next week for another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post.